Hey guys, Edge here with the G Tablet running TNT 2.1.0. Uh, Almost uh, said the wrong version there. 2.1.0. Roby just put together uh, another awesome, uh, another awesome ROM here with a lot of help from uh, a lot of other folks who really uh, make this thing amazing. And so I just want to go through. I've had a lot of requests uh, for going through more of the features, a little more in depth. So I figured what I'd do with this video is I'm actually going to go through um, a lot of stuff here. So I'm going to try and do it quickly enough to fit it all in within 15 minutes, and uh, we'll see where we get. So first things first, email. Um, obviously, Gmail works on these things very nicely. Um, very quick. The new, the new, the newest firmware um, is very fast. It's very responsive. Um, I have a problem with sometimes not tapping, um, not really touching enough. So sometimes if you see me touch and nothing happens, it's because I'm first of all I've got these crazy calluses on my finger. I'm a bass guitar player. Secondly, it's because sometimes I touch too lightly. Um, you don't have to push hard, right? Because it's capacitive, not resistive. But still. I still have a tendency to sometimes just barely touch it enough to even even do anything. So email works great. Calendar on this version is uh, is awesome. I really like this calendar uh, much better than the um, than the one that shipped with TNT and that they actually uh, that Roby actually went back to after a while. Um, he went back to this one, which I much prefer. Uh, month, day, week, agenda view, they're all here. Um, it's really nice, very easy to use, very nice and easy to look at. Um, as far as other basic features, let's go to uh, contacts. Um, you know, if you go to something, you know, you can go through all these different, obviously different people. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I wonder how, I wonder how much that showed. We'll see if I blank that out. Uh, I just showed everybody my daughter's telephone number. So anyway, yeah, contacts works really well. Um, one of the major features of 2.1.0 is that, um, and it'll show you here, when you go to um, calendars, for example, it shows all the different accounts it's syncing. Now, I only um, added one uh, Google or one Google Apps account, which is my main account, but I have that linked to a bunch of others. This picked it up automatically, so that was pretty sweet. Email uh, picked it all up perfectly easily. I've got my um, work email on here. Picked up all the exchange stuff easily without any problems at all. Um, let's see real quickly your camera. People asked about the camera quite a bit. And I'm sorry, you're gonna have to see my ugly mug once again. But here I am. So um, that right there is shooting um, the camera. If I go to video, I heard that there may be some issues with that. I don't know. Let's see. Testing, we're shooting a video with the G tab. Okay, let's see what happens. See, this is what I hear happens. So uh, let's go into gallery and see if there's actually a video there. Uh, here's the camera. And we'll play it with Rock Player because I like. It says it can't open it with Rock Player, so let's try a video player. There we go. All right, so the video worked. Um, that's pretty cool. I've never tested video on here before. If we go back to camera again, and we go with the regular photograph, we'll take a picture. I'm going to make a crazy face. Ooh, that's frightening. But uh, I think that if I click this button, it'll for force close if I just back out of this and then go to something like gallery to look at the crazy picture I just took yeah there it is Ooh, scary I'm a scary looking guy alright so camera works uh, pretty well uh, let's go through more basic features here uh, the clock this uh, loads up a, a really nice screen here that I actually like to leave my tablet on when I'm just charging it. Um, 
it's basically just this nice home screen with the time and date the weather uh, you can set alarms which is pretty nice uh, you can have it go through so <laughs> I just put a bunch of stock pictures on here just so I could have something to demo so um, some of these pictures are pretty strange uh, let's see here music if I wanted to play music on here I could and use it kind of like a music player I guess Oops, I picked the wrong thing. Uh, is it now playing? We could stop it. All right, enough of that. And then here's home, and home, of course, is another way just to get back to the home screen. So, okay, from clock, we already looked at contacts. Dev tools I haven't really used, but apparently there's a lot of other stuff you can mess around with on here. I'll be honest again, I haven't messed with dev tools because I'm not a dev. And I figure it's best for me to leave stuff like that that I don't understand alone. ES File Explorer is pretty phenomenal. Um, it's what Robeat packages on here by default. Uh, makes it very easy to navigate all around your device. Here's a bunch of apps that um, APKs that I loaded onto the device myself so that I could very easily go here and just install them when I install them when I go through different versions of uh, of the TNT. Now here's one thing that's really cool. Uh, let's go uh, is it this one. So well, I'll get to that in a second. SD card and SD card two. So this is a micro SD card I have in here. It does work. Now as I understand it, it's not hot swappable, so you have to shut it off, put in the micro SD card, turn it back on, and it'll mount up just fine. So the point is, it works. Now here's what I was going to show you guys. This is really cool. Local LAN FTP and Bluetooth. I can go to LAN and add a, add a server. So I have a Tenito server right over here on my desk. I can actually add it to here and stream media off of there. I can download documents. If I had files stored on there that I wanted to put onto here, I could do it very easily. So it will see your um, LAN devices that you could set up through ES File Explorer. So pretty cool. Let's see, what else have we got besides ES File Explorer? Okay, so Fancy Widget uh, I installed on there. Gallery we've uh, briefly looked at, but this is how it shows up on here. It's it's a decent um, app. I don't know if this is like a standard Google app or whether this is something that's later. I'm not familiar enough. However, it does run well. You know, looking through pictures. Uh, here, this is this is what I looked like when I was in the Marines. A lot lot better than I look now. <laughs> anyway, um, let's get back out of gallery because that's kind of boring. Uh, home switcher is just another way to set what launcher you want to use. I'm using ADW, but uh, it comes with just regular launcher, and you can use that to set it. Maps. Um, I haven't used it on this one yet, so it's probably going to do some. Yeah, there we go. It's uh, what's new in maps. Um, And yeah, if you want to, let's go to Tulsa. So there you go. I mean, Maps works brilliantly on these devices. Maps was really made for tablets. Market. Uh, pretty quick. Pretty responsive. Of course, it's very dependent on your network speed. Um, I've found that you know if if I've got something crazy going on on my net on my network, um, you know the market can be kind of slow, but it's because it's grabbing so much data, it just really needs that bandwidth. Uh, the music app that's on here, I don't really use it. Um, it's kind of basic, and I'll show you what I do use later. Uh, news and weather. 
is uh, again fairly generic, but but you know decent. Um, you can go through and look at whatever you want to. Pretty pretty simple basic stuff there. Let's see, it was news. Phone you can't use because there's no phone here. Places I don't use. Um, your settings is pretty straightforward. Um, it's regular TNT settings. Spare parts um, is pretty useful. Again, um, this just allows you to further customize the the G tablet. I haven't really played much with this because most of what I do uh, for my experience on the device goes through the AW, ADW launcher. Super user is on here to give you root. Talk works really well. I don't have it set up yet, but talk works really well. Let's see, because I do have my yeah. So I was going to say I've got my Google. Um, apps account in here so it it shows me that certain people are online and if they wanted to they could they could chat with me now I've opened that can of worms <laughs> let's see uh, voice comes on here voice search and of course the web browser now um, I do have Flash installed on here, and I know people were asking a lot about sites like CNN, which is quite Flash heavy, and how this works with the Flash features that are that are on CNN.com. They say that this is a pretty Flash heavy site. So we'll just kind of pick some stuff and see what happens. Okay, as you see, it had a little bit of choppiness starting up, but once it got going, it's actually really smooth and, and quite frankly, beautiful. It's really nice. So, um, at least for videos and stuff, it does look really great on there. Um, there's a lot of other stuff going on up here. I know this, this whole thing up here, I guess, is Flash, and, you know, it does a good job with it. Um, I haven't... I've used the uh, Dolphin HD browser in the past, and I will make um, a separate video uh, in a bit that kind of shows off some of the non-standard stuff that that comes or that you can put onto the ViewSonic G Tab to make it a even more useful and better tablet device. And of course, YouTube. This is the um, the other big app that a lot of people are really interested in. So as you can see, again, video on the YouTube here is pretty darn good. Um, now, the last thing I guess I'll mention is that, yes, um, I've run Quadrant on it. The score I got was 2458, I believe, which is pretty darn phenomenal. It's really, really fast. Uh, the UI is, is super responsive. Um, you know, really fast. It, it feels, if, if, if you know... Uh, it leaves me speechless. It's, it's just so smooth. It's it's fun to just kind of flick it back and forth. Very fast, responsive, and smooth. So this video kind of went through some of the basic things that Roby packaged into the TNT Lite 2.1.0 release. And uh, I'll be making a second video that goes over some of the other features as well. So thanks very much for watching. And uh, I guess tune in to the next one that will show some of the more... Uh, some of the applications I like on the G-Tab. Edge out.